Today, Vikings are arguably more popular than ever, showing up in TV shows, movies, and video games. But opposed to face tattoos and top knots, how would living like a Viking really look like? Today, two modern day buff dudes and their dad will try their best to recreate the Viking lifestyle in only one week, creating the weapons, fashion, food, and even the longships that actual Vikings used. Finally, they'll be judged by real Swedish Viking descendants to see how they did. Wish them luck. For me! <laughs> Viking clothes and weapons. From the research we did, Vikings didn't dress maybe quite as outlandish as they do in video games and TV shows. And that makes a lot of sense because a lot of times you want to make it as exciting as you can. But in reality, they dress probably a lot like maybe farmers of their time would. Tunics, belts, very simple, very functional. So that's exactly what Aga is going to be doing today is trying your best in a very short amount of time to recreate that ancient Viking look. And thankfully we have a sewing machine because they used to do it all by hand and that would probably take me a while. Thank you modern technology. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> thankfully it's a very simple construction as well. For the farmer you could basically have a very simple boxy shape because you just need to move around. Same for the warriors, they had to move a lot so you didn't want to have it too fitted because that would just restrict your movements. There was no skinny jeans in the Viking era. No. Part of the process of making a Viking video, in our case anyway, is it make some axes. This is uh, similar to a Viking axe, apparently of the time. I had some scrap steel, so I just cut it out. I had some lighter gauge metal, and I just welded two of those together to get that thickness. For handles, we have a lot of willow trees that are around, ponds around here. We cut some short pieces out of some of those willow trees took a torch and burnt that to make it look good that way. We're gonna go ahead and make a custom mount for these ax heads. Shields are done, we got three of them and we pretty much just used what we had lying around but I feel like they turn out pretty good. They're pretty heavy um, and as you can see here, we just use a little chicken pot pie tin that we found at the local store. We're gonna be doing some inverted tuck of war. So we're gonna put shield to shield and see who can push each other the farthest and uh, maybe shoot some arrows into it to see if they can stand up to a real battle. From the Viking shields that we researched on the internet, you would sometimes see them with really great artwork, very intricate. And seeing as we are buff dudes, we've got to add our own little angle to it. So there is going to be a menacing design, but this time instead of maybe dragons, it's going to be biceps. And these aren't just any normal bicep, these are biceps with bite. And that's going to strike absolute fear in the enemy. <sighs> <laughs> Are you ready to farm? Yes. Are you ready to raid a village? Yes. Are you ready to sing the praises of Odin and Valhalla? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> She's our shield maiden. The shield was one of the Viking's main tools in combat, so we need to test it right now. Brandon's gonna be shooting an arrow into this thing. Are you ready, Dad? Uh, where will I be? You're gonna be the one holding this thing up. I'm gonna be the one with my fingers crossed. I'm ready. Yeah! Ready, Dad? Yep! Shoot it! Oh. Wow! <laughs> that thing held up good! I will live to see another day! Viking food and drinks. It's time to eat. Yeah. And it's time to eat like a Viking. And this stuff smells pretty fishy. What is this stuff? This is called stockfish. It's an amazing meal that the Vikings used. When you dry this, this can last for up to 15 years, which would be perfect for an expedition across the sea. It smells fishy. We have not tried this yet. <laughs> this is the taste test right here. Very tough. Definitely dried, pure protein. This tastes about what you would imagine something that could last for 15 years would taste like. <laughs> it kind of tastes like cat food. Yeah. I don't think I would eat it unless I absolutely had to. I don't care. You know what I think this needs? 
ale. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and naturally, we're drinking out of ram horns. Uh, where's my horn? Oh, sorry, here, we're sharing. Uh, unfortunately, there wasn't a lot of carbonation back then, so we're drinking flat beer, but I gotta be honest, flat beer with the stockfish <laughs> doesn't taste too bad. Hey, if eating the fish meant you get the uh, ale afterwards, I'll eat the fish. Yeah. I feel like a Viking now. <laughs> so you put the stockfish in your mouth, you pour the ale in, and then it kind of softens it up a little bit. That's a great thing. What's Vikings for cheers? Skull. 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 <laughs> See, that's the thing about these horns, you can't really set them down, but they're not meant to be because every time you empty it, you just fill it right back up. You're never gonna set down a cup that's full of beer. That'd be a good waste of ale. What's your verdict on the uh, flat? You know, I, I normally don't like flat beer, but for some reason, this tastes really good. It's probably the environment, the yeah. fire, the stockfish, yeah. drinking out of a ram's horn. <laughs> now it's time to move on to the mead. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Viking piss. Odin's urine! <laughs> okay, who peed in there? Tastes sweet. Odin's got some sweet piss. <laughs> <laughs> We've been drinking some ale and some mead, but we're not done yet. Time for battle. I don't know if I'd be a battle Viking. I'd be, I'd be the plump, content Viking in the uh, long house yeah. drinking mead. Let's party. Let's party like it's $9.99. Well, we've had some ale, so I think we need a little bit of carbs. Yeah. We're gonna be making some Viking flatbread, and it's very simple. What we're gonna be doing is using a cup and a half of barley, half a cup of buttermilk, one tablespoon of honey, and just a quarter teaspoon of salt. Who cares about the flatbread? <laughs> Ale has calories. Time to take our bread off of the uh, fire. There it is. Looks like a tortilla, kind of. I'm not sure if I made the best Viking cook. Smells good. I'll eat that. I'll eat it. It does smell damn good. <laughs> it's almost like cornmeal. Oh, wow. That's actually amazing. No, I like seriously. the burn pot. He likes the carcinogens. Damn. That's his favorite part. <laughs> Some mead nail. And this stuff, I'd make it across the North Atlantic. No problem. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it tastes better when you eat it off of an axe. <laughs> I don't know. The Just one. needs a little mead. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I think today's been a good day. You know what's gonna yep. make this day better? What? More me! More me! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, seriously, does anyone have more me? <laughs> the Viking Berserkers. It's all about intimidation. Yeah, those war cries have to be pretty damn loud, especially when you're crying across the battlefield. You want to intimidate your foes real quick. And that's exactly what Berserkers did. They bit their shield, they went into a frothing psychotic rage, and they also screamed. I can't wait! That's why we have this decibel reader here. We're gonna see how loud we can get our war cry, and whoever gets the loudest wins. We've got our little Berserker right here. He's gonna test out the decibels first. Ready? As loud as you can. Odin! <laughs> <Fumana! laughs> for family! For country! For all! Dad! That was the exact sound he made every day when he came home to see what me and Brian had been up to. He's had a lot of practice over the years. So, him winning this one wasn't a big surprise. Good job, Dad. <laughs> training in long ships. With our variety of training methods today, Viking training may have seemed crude, but regardless, they still practice training specificity, exercising in a manner which helped them with their task at hand. This could include something like picking up rocks, throwing logs, engaging in an inverted tug-of-war using their shields to practice for their shield wall, or rowing. Vikings were known to strike fear, and one of their most powerful ways of achieving this was the longship. But unfortunately, we don't have longships. Yeah, we do. What? You built longships? I built longships. He built longships. He built longships. Unleash the longship! <laughs> Construction of a longship could take up to 55,000 man hours if you include everything. 
beginning with chopping down the trees, which would be used to create the ship. This would be done with simple axes, much different from the modern technology we use today, such as chainsaws. Laws were different as well, as they would likely have used slaves for the toughest parts of the job. Instead, we'll be using our dad. And instead of 55,000 hours to create the longship, he'll have two days. Sorry, Dad. You built two longships out of kayaks. I did. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Why the fuck did you do that? Uh, because there's gonna be a race! Ah! Ah! Buff dude against buff dude! Viking against Viking! When does it start? It starts at the blow of the horn. <laughs> <laughs> Let me try that again. Sounds good enough to me. Let's go! <laughs> Shit, I had that a second ago. Are you ready? Hudson won! <laughs> oh, dude! <dang. laughs> How is it out there on the ocean right now? It's a little cold, and we had to split the ice. That was probably the hardest part of the race. These sails, they worked wonders, but unfortunately the wind was blowing in the wrong direction, so I was wanting to push it back. Oh, no. So we had to work even harder, but hey, you know what? Helped us build muscles that much more. It probably didn't look as epic as it felt. Because <laughs> <laughs> being in that little, uh, Little long boat, trying to get through that ice, racing. Man, that felt that felt pretty cool. But if a historian wrote about us in a thousand years, they would tell of our epic saga of the two giant Viking brothers who raced across the continent. <laughs> a Viking death deserved a Viking funeral. And there's no better funeral than being sent to Valhalla through a funeral pyre. DIY Duke built it, and now me and Brandon are gonna be burning it. <laughs> We're gonna set some arrows on fire, shoot at the pyre, and light this sucker. Wish us luck. We've never done this before, but we're pretty damn excited to try it out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, too far. You barely shoot that thing, okay. There you go. Oh, yeah! yeah. Oh, dude! To Valhalla! Yeah. Damn, I thought there was gonna be an explosion. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right on cue, baby. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Now it's sinking to the depths of the little pond. As the pyre sinks into the pond, that ends our week-long journey into becoming ancient Vikings. And I would say it was definitely a learning experience. It's not quite what you see on TV shows or movies. I loved making the axes and the long boats and some of the other things. It was really educational for me and I realized how awesome the Vikings were. Let us know who you want us to be next. We'll live like them, eat like them, train like them. We'll probably light some stuff on fire again yeah. too. <laughs> Blow some more yeah. shit up. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Cheers! Cheers! Sure. <laughs> They're making clothes. Clad. For the winter. Yes. <laughs> Warriors. Trigger. Oh, man. On this side. By the fish. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Rip those Viking pants in half. Meat and beer. Yeah. To build biceps. Come on. Stoked fish. Oh, okay. I don't know what that is. 
Fish, dried. Absolutely have no idea. Into <laughs> drugs. Cool. Huh? Yeah. Oh. Ah, yeah. uh, mead. <laughs> Looks good. He's cooking bread on an axe. Hello, I'm off by next time. Go in there. Meat is good. <laughs> meat is the best. Meat is good. We love beer. Yeah, come on. I'm good. Oh, no! Pretty good screaming. Not like real Vikings. How does a real Viking scream? Yeah! Pretty accurate longships. It's just like the one we have. Ah, <laughs> oh, they have a horn. Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have any horns. We have cell phones nowadays. Yeah! Skull! How is it out there on the ocean right now? It's a little cold. Cold. Real Vikings doesn't feel cold. <laughs> they need some practice shooting arrows. Woo! Yeah, that was good. <laughs> <laughs> so this is how I'm gonna bury you in your pond. Yeah, behind us. Yeah. Good. Har de kunnat vara riktiga vikingar? Yes, of course. Skål! Oh yeah! Ah. <laughs> Skål!